Hello world, I'm back again today with a video about vulnerability assessments and how to perform them and what applications to use to do it. So let's get to it. So today I'm going to be installing Nessus, which is uh, Tainable. Tainable is a vulnerability application um, we can run on our systems to find vulnerabilities. If it's a network vulnerability, a system vulnerability, um, we're going to be installing it on a Windows 7 machine today, and then we're going to run a vulnerability assessment against uh, Metasploitable 2. So let's get started. So this is a little bit about what we're going to be doing. Um, first, you know, the first step of any kind of vulnerability step, uh, vulnerability scan, would be to plan the scope of work. So what are we going to be um, assessing today? In our case, we're our our server, we're going to make sure our server is secure. Obviously, it's not because we're going to be using a vulnerable Linux system, but that's step one. And then step two is gathering the information. So this would say, okay, let's um, know what applications we're going to be running. What are we going to be using? Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much, you know, it in a nutshell. And the third step is scanning and you know, scanning the detection of the assessment. So that would say, okay, that is going to go out and scan the metasploitable, see what vulnerabilities. Obviously, it's going to be a massive amount because it's a vulnerable system, but we're going to see the process of that. And then the final step is write a report. So we'll download a pretty report to present to your client, to your company that you're consulting for your pen test or your vulnerability assessment um, in this case, but let's get started. Um, before I go out in a rant. So this Windows 7 machine, we're going to go ahead and install that process. So I have, this is Metasploitable. So you're going to go to tainable.com slash download slash Nessus. This is the download page. Um, a few things you're going to, if you're using Ubuntu, Windows, any kind of, you know, flavor, flavor of Linux, whatever you're using, you go ahead and download it for yours. In my case, I downloaded um, the Windows version. So the Windows version is right here. And my install is right here. And you're going to need an activation key. And this is uh, a brand new install, so we're going to go through it together. So let's go through it. So I'm going to double click on my, um, my executable. Let's run this. Next. Next. I'm going to just keep all the defaults. And we're going to agree to the <clears throat> next. We're going to uh, accept the wing cap. That's fine. Automatically finish. Now this should continue. And it's critical to do some vulnerability assessments um, to make sure your machines are secure. Um, sometimes it's definitely um, required for certain industries to get an external pen test and before you have the bad guys come in um, or an actual pen testing company you should do your own internal vulnerability assessment patch all your stuff before you get dinged by them so this is going to be the process of getting that done hit can finish so this is the default local host um, and it runs on port 8834. So, and if we're going to, we can go into here and do an IP config, which I think my IP should be the same. And even if we go copy that and we paste it in port 88834, sorry, um, probably HTTPS. But it's probably not connected yet. So let's just connect via SSL. Next. We can reboot later. Uh, Nessus Essentials. This is the free version. I think it runs up to 16 hosts. Obviously, in our situation, we're probably going to run one today. And I'm not going to have more than 16 in my lab. So this is good enough for me. My first name is Patrick. My last name is Gorman. My email... Oh, I actually got it. So let's actually uh, do this. 
activation key, copy this down here, continue, username, create a username, okay, I'm just going to put infosec pat, my password, whoop, my password is going to be my fancy one, let that submit, and it's going to bring us to the login um, for Nessus. So now it's just going to download all the plugins, all um, getting everything initialized and set up. Once this is up and running, then we should see the the login uh, the login page for Nessus. So while that's loading up, let's do some information gathering for our Metasploitable 2. So if we go to Kali, this is going to be another sorry, um, another tool that we can utilize um, for any kind of reconnaissance, pen testing. It's a it's a cool it's a cool distro. Um, I have some videos on it, how to install it, so you can go ahead and go check those out. So um, so what I want to do is I want to run an nmap, simple nmap command. If you don't know what nmap is, you can just click enter and this will show us all the switches and you can also go on their website nmap.org and get all the switches all the commands um, but we're just going to do a simple port scan all right so with that being said let's do nmap you can do dash n uh, s s and dash s v for the version detection 192.168.119.146. This is doing information gathering. If we're going to do a basic network scan against that host um, just to see what's open. And then we're going to go back to the Windows 7 machine and hopefully that's up and running in a few minutes. And I just want to make sure everything's still responsive. Everything is still responsive, so this is good. This just shows all the ports that are open on that uh, on that box, and we can also know it's uh, port 80, so you know Apache is running. So if we go on here and we go to 192.168.119.146, we should see a web server sitting on there. So this is the web server. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Windows 7. All right, uh, I'm going to pause it for now, and then we'll. Uh, continue once this is done. All right, thank you. It's back. So that took about 10, 10 minutes or so. So now this is the welcome screen to Nessus Essentials. So we can put our target in right here and submit. So we're going to put 190, 192.168.119.146 because that is our metasploitable machine. So let's submit that. This is it. It's discovering the host. I'm sure it can hit it. Let's just make sure. I just like to triple, quadruple check sometimes. Just to make sure. Okay, cool. All right, so now that discovery is uh, complete. So now we can run the scan. This is going to run the scan like a basic scan for vulnerabilities on that machine. It's going to give us the host, the vulnerabilities, and the history. So let's go to my scans. This is the scan that's running, my basic scan. And third, so this is running. Let's give this some time, and I'll um, I'll come back once this is done. Uh, we identified the vulnerabilities. That's what we're doing right now with the scan. And this checks for any misconfiguration. If there's any misconfiguration in the system and servers, this is another way that an attacker can compromise your system. And so let's talk about this for a second, uh, a credential scan versus a non-credential scan. Me personally, I always like to do a credential scan because it's a more accurate scan um, for the assessment. Um, when you have a non-credential uh, non scan, that's just gonna send it out and just take a wild guess and see what services are running, what um, applications are vulnerable. It's not, it, it, there's more false positives versus having a credential scan. So say for example, you're logging in as Ryan 
and Ryan is has a you know we have the credentials for you know uh, for Ryan's machine we can have a more accurate uh, assessment for Ryan versus if I just take take a non-credential scan send it against Ryan it's gonna have some false positive or it's like a guessing game so let's go check out all scan now okay fantastic so it is complete right here we see the 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 scan is complete so now let's go ahead and check out the report so let's go to my scans uh, report let's just download an HTML and we can have it as an exec uh, an executive summary so let's download that it's gonna generate and then we're gonna see the results so we can click on the results here and the one thing I do love about Nessus is that has hyperlinks so let's go to show details so say for example uh, the CVV, uh, CVSS so that's the common vulnerability score sheet so if we want to click on this plugin this uh, bin shell backdoor detection I can click on this and I'll go right to the vulnerability on sustainable so it'll show you the synopsis the description and the solution so obviously the solution let's see verify the this is necessary okay so this is pretty much a self-explanatory description and a solution um, like I said this is a vulnerable system so we knew that from the beginning so this is pretty much in a nutshell how to run an assessment um, what it all entails um, to get an assessment up and running for your client for your company and what you would do is take this um, executive summary and download it you know obviously we can take this HTML and then we can um, present that to the client to your C level to whomever and that concludes the video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, please like subscribe uh, give this to friends uh, smash that subscribe button hit that bell so you get notifications when new videos come out and if there's any request like this was a request from someone on my Twitter and I really appreciate all the you know everyone's attention everyone's viewing and um, have a good day we'll be back soon